Big changes on the way, folks. First, you're going to need to find the umbrella. We've got a good chance for rain in the next 24 hours. And then break out the winter gear. You'll need it for a period of about 24 to 36 hours. And that does not include the weekend. So I'm ha happy to say that the brief blast of bitter air will move out in time for your weekend. We certainly have had timing working in our favor the last three weekends, haven't we? Overnight, there's going to be some changes. First of all, this evening, get out and enjoy it. Check it out. When the sun goes down, we're still near 70. 10 o'clock temperature, 62. We hold there, but we cloud over quickly. And right around midnight or just thereafter, rain moves in. Three things you need to know about all these changes. The overnight rain is mainly light, but it's widespread. It will start to taper off at around daybreak or for the morning dry, but roads are still likely to be wet. Then there's going to be a long break in the activity on a Wednesday afternoon, or at least somewhat of a break. There could be a thunderstorm or two that bubbles up, though, because of the heating of the atmosphere in the afternoon, but that activity will be spotty. And then a blast of cold air gets here Thursday. You're going to feel it 20 degrees colder at least. And the wind's going to make it feel even colder despite sunshine. Here's the first of the two systems coming in. The first one has all the moisture with it coming off the Gulf. You see this large area of rain. We'll be tracking that this evening. You make sure you tune into WRUF if you're going to be out late tonight for time of arrivals uh, with that batch of rain. And then here's the second system coming in tomorrow night. That's the cold front. It won't have much moisture to work with, but it will bring the change in temperature. So here it is. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock is when it moves to the Nature Coast right around midnight, moving into Alachua County, probably breaking up at around daybreak. Break. Can't rule out still a brief shower or two for the morning drive. Tune in from 7 to 9 a.m. for live coverage on that. And then a couple of thunderstorms may try to bubble up Wednesday afternoon, but notice how spotty that activity is. Now that first system takes all the moisture with it. So when the cold front comes in, that's the stripe of clouds with the front. That's midnight Wednesday night. Maybe a sprinkle, but that's about it. The bigger story with this second system is the cold air. And oh, oh man, you're going to feel it. Check out the difference. Here are your Wednesday temperatures. Even with clouds and rain and maybe a little sun thrown in, we should reach the mid to upper 70s. But watch the numbers. They hold in the 60s until that front gets here. Remember I said it was around midnight? 61 at 1130 Wednesday night in Gainesville. But we're talking 40 to 41 at 730, 750 on Thursday morning. And temperatures Thursday, this is afternoon numbers only in the 50s. Now, I did some math with the wind and the temperature Thursday morning. Wind chills, what it's going to feel like, folks. Uh, that's going to be a shock to the system. Low 30s when you're up early on your Thursday. But I promise it'll move out in time for the weekend. High pressure will be settling in Friday into Saturday. Wind switching around to the south and east. That's a warming wind. We will warm up, but our next rainmaker is a little faster this time. So before the weekend comes to a close, we will be tracking more rain, probably late on Sunday. There's your updated six day morning showers tomorrow, afternoon spotty storms, drier but colder Thursday, frost possible Friday morning. Nice warm up for the weekend before rain moves back in late Sunday.